I saw prosperity before I became a pastor of a church. I was a freelance minister doing fellowship on Fridays when I'm around. We don't give offering in our fellowship, sir. We don't. So it's, it's not about collecting offering from people. It's about giving. Yes, sir. <laughs> there are many, many offering collectors who are pastors. I mean, and they are very poor. <laughs> what to collect does not prosper you. Yes, it's what to give that does. Mm. Mm. It doesn't. There are very many pastors of big congregations who are paupers. And he said to me, get back home and make my people rich. I said, how? He said, as poor and yet making many rich. Don't look at you. You are not the source of what I'm asking to tell them. Tell them how to assess my riches in glory. Can I hear your amen? amen. And what I'm telling you this morning. May this gain entrance into you. Amen. It will terminate all forms of financial misfortune and make you live above all economic circumstances. Above all. No guesswork. Above all. Some young people are running around saying that uh, there is nothing like tightening in scriptures. Sit down with your financial tightness. Sit down there, my friend. He told me. I heard him. And I believed him. And he shows. And he shows. Somebody brought me a seat from Jaws last Friday. And then um, I needed to hear what she was saying. And after hearing, I knew God wanted me to return the seat to her. And I said, I place this in your hand like Abraham returned with Isaac. With his one blessing from heaven. This will open a new chapter in your life. I said, no, no, God told me not to. If people are not looking for what to collect. They are busy giving. They are busy giving. They are busy giving. One of the profs at Covenant University was testifying. He said, sir, I was on your scholarship when I was in the University of Illinois. You had it. Did I know him? No. Can you send me those who have issues? How much did you have? I won't tell you. We were busy distributing yes. and God kept supplying. Today is a prof. Wow. Amen. Wow. I met another one. He said, I've been on your school since I was 14 years old. Wow. It's another prof today. We didn't have a school, not that we we're preparing them so they can come to the school when we have a school. No, uh, school for where? This thing works every day, works every time. A young man met us at the outreach office. He said, Sir, I was on your scholarship from KHMS to Faith Academy. I ended up at the University of Benin. I'm now a graduate. You can't sit down there and be watching and expect things to change. Wake up and start putting God's word to work if you truly understand it. Wake up and start putting God's word to work if you truly understand it. Wake up and start putting God's word to work if you truly understand it. If you are not magicians, you are not sorcerers, and you are doing that kind of project in your church, and nobody is feeling anything, you are wearing white coat. <laughs> Amen. No, no, no. Everybody is tying tie and uh, putting pocket after excess, excess money. <laughs> You know, this pocket thing can do another time. <laughs> Everybody's laughing genuinely. Hallelujah. No genuinely. There are the many days of your life shall be free from pressure. So there is nothing mystical about financial fortune. It's just an understanding of the covenant. I'm putting it to work under all circumstances. Yes, under
under all circumstances. We had a drama in our home many years ago. We needed baby food, and there was nowhere to be found because there was economic, what is it called? Short supply. What do they call it? Eh? Scarcity. Okay. And the Lord said to me, give all you have as a seed. And we did. Following morning, 24 cartons of baby food, unsolicited for, no mention to anybody. This person said, there are no baby food in town, and I know you may need. So the Lord spoke to me to bring 24 cartons. Life, 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 life. You know why you could do that? You have an understanding of this covenant. Mm. God won't tell you to do what will hurt you. Mm. No. He won't. And don't copy somebody else. Hear from God. Hear from God if you want to. <laughs> Hear from God. Hear from God. By showing to the life of folks going to school, we never knew when we pay school fees. It has never shown that we are paying school fees. It has never shown that we pay school fees. Never. Never. The covenant works and works forever. This covenant works and it works forever. While the earth remains, it keeps working. There was so much farming in Egypt. Yes, People were offering themselves to be sold, to be bought. Hmm? I'm available to be bought. Oh. It was so bad. But Israel, God's covenant people, dwelt in the same nation. They had possessions. They grew and multiplied exceedingly. Genesis 14, 15 to 23. 15 to 27, sorry. They multiplied and grew exceedingly in the midst of a born down. That's a raw interpretation of Malachi chapter 4, verse 1 and 2. Yes, sir. Now, this is it. If you have not been faithful in the unrighteous or temporal money, who will commit to your trust the true riches? We are in the days of the true riches of heaven, which your church is celebrating. True riches. True riches. No corner cutting. No talking to governor, talking to president, talking to corporation. True riches. True riches. Dignified riches. Riches without blemish. That's your portion. Luke 16 Verse 11, if you have not been favoring your righteous mammon, who shall commit to your trust the true riches? So wealth in the kingdom is an entrustment, not an achievement. It's an entrustment. It is only available to those that God can trust. Can God trust you to use it for his purpose? If he cannot, forget it. If you cannot be trusted, you cannot gain access. If you cannot be trusted, you cannot gain access. Can you be trusted? Because you are blessed to be a blessing. Are you available to be a blessing yes, to the world around you? You can never be blessed beyond your commitment to being a blessing. It will kill you. Mm. No. When you see the scripture of a cat, it's like this. The one of a ram is like this. The one of a cow is like this. But the one of an elephant is heavier than you. <laughs> when he releases, he has to move like a train to move from the place. <laughs> Otherwise, he will stop being an elephant. He will die. God will not give you beyond what you are willing to discharge. Mm. My God, will not. You can put a ceiling on your prosperity by yourself. God will not bless anybody beyond their capacity to be a blessing. No. He said to Abraham, and I will bless you, and thou shalt be a blessing. 
That means I will bless you only to the level that you are prepared and committed to be a blessing. I won't bless you beyond that. Would you be willing to pay a tithe of one billion profit? Everybody will say yes. <laughs> but there are people that if God tempts them with one billion profit today, they will marry another way. <laughs> Amen. They will build houses where they don't need it. They will hire hotel rooms that they are not living in. <laughs> you say, have you paid tight? Tight for what? <laughs> I'm not interested in all the junk. Okay. Go and junk your life. You know something about true riches? It's endures. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. True riches, what? Endures. Yes. <laughs> yes. True riches. Endures. They call it durable riches and righteousness. Yes. No games. Yes. True riches and the yes. mm. I've never known one bit of setback. Amen. True riches and the True riches keeps multiplying. Amen. True riches don't run dry. Yes, sir. Whatever the Lord does shall be forever. Yes. So if it's from the Lord, it will be forever. In the name of Jesus. Ups and downs in your finances come to an end today. Yeah.